In the bulb there is a flower, in the seed an apple tree, in cocoons a hidden promise, butterflies will soon be free. In the cold and snow of winter, there's a spring that waits to be. Unrevealed until its season, something God alone can see. In our end is our beginning, in our time affinity. In our doubt there is believing, in our life eternity. In our death a resurrection, at the last a victory. Unrevealed until its season, something God alone can see. In the Gospel of John, chapter 11, starting with verse 25, Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe this? Today we come and pay our respects uh, to Pierre Richard. And we ask that God richly bless him and take care of him as we remember him tonight. Uh, a couple days ago was Canadian Thanksgiving. And so today, tonight we are going to be thankful for Pierre's life, for how God created him, made him, how he was adopted into his family, how he grew in faith, how he connected to loved ones here, and how he still, his memory still, lives on here with us tonight. My name is Pastor Kyle Reinhiller from the Harrisburg United Methodist Church, and it's my honor to be leading this prayer service for you tonight. If you'll please take the back of your bulletin at this time, and what we will do is we will say the Lord's Prayer together the Lord's Prayer. So please follow along and we will say this together by praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. If you now will turn in your funeral folder, and please turn to Pierre's life story as written here in front of you. And as you look at it, and as you see it, and as you take time to have it to be read or read to you, I would like you to listen to the words from Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. And you'll see where Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verses 1 through 8 connects with Pierre's life. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to throw away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war 
and a time for peace. Will you bow your heads with me for a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, whether we are watching in Canada or whether we are present here, may your Holy Spirit bring comfort to each one of us. Lord, we lay to rest. Pierre. He was a husband, a dad, a faithful member of his community, a grandfather, a friend. Lord, thank you for the love you gave him and for the love that you gave others through him. Lord, we know that none of us are perfect. And Pierre was not perfect either. Lord, may your spirit of forgiveness and being forgiving empower our hearts our lives tonight. Thank you for the gifts that you gave us. Through Pierre. Thank you for letting us share his life and in his life. Be with those who are left behind. May they grow closer to their loved ones and closer to you. For at a time like this, we realize how much we need you. In Jesus' name, amen. I just have one question, and that question is, who is the friend who got away with Colin Pierre? Pierre, is she here tonight? Who is the friend that called Pierre? Pierre, is she here tonight? Is she around? Yeah, she's here. She's here, where's she at? Why is, where is she waving her hand? You call them whatever you wanted to. Okay. Okay. Now, there's something about that, that within here in South Dakota, our capital is peer. peer. And uh, right away, the, uh, what Jason told me right away is, call him Pierre, not peer. And then I realized that somebody got to call him peer. And you had to be somebody really special to do that. And there's something special about that. And what we call that is grace. We call that mercy. We call that um, a way of, of showing love, of showing love. That sometime for everybody else, he was Pierre. But to, some, but to one person, he was Pierre. He is Pierre. And those are the things that mark a person's life. As we look at the pictures of Pierre's life, the pictures with his son and, and, and daughter up in Canada, and those tender pictures of him holding each one. And uh, one of the things that Jason remarked was, it's great to see those pictures of seeing him with hair, because 
He did not have hair here in here in hair in this United States. We we become known uh, by our community, by our friends, by our family, and those memories stick with us. And there's something about when a person dies, we cannot help but think about our own lives. Many of you will have, are here to support friends. You are here to support family. You are here because um, that this man came down from Canada and got married. And that there was a taste of happiness in that. And for that, we are grateful. Now, I don't know if I ever met uh, Pierre, if he was at a confirmation of Aaron's or anything. If he was there, then I probably would have saw him along with many other people as well. So the only time that I met him was in the hospital and that the, one of the things they say that when somebody is in the hospital like and they cannot speak, they say that the, the last sense to go is the hearing. So I talked about Jesus making a place for him from the Gospel of John chapter 14 saying Jesus goes and prepares a place for you. And that is something that I just trust that he heard. If I had opportunity, I would also have shared with him. I get to share with each one of you tonight is from the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that whoever believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. The scripture passage that I read at the beginning was the time where Jesus asked, Do you believe this? A friend of my, um, of my wife was led to Jesus, led to the Lord, by just believing John 3.16, where it said, For God so loved, and she, the person who invited her, said, Where it says world, put your name in. So she read it, For God so loved Glenda, that he gave his only son, so that when Glenda believes in him, she may not perish but have eternal life. Each one of us is invited to put our name there. Because God sent his son, because he loved each one of us so much, that he gave his son for you and for me. For us to put our name there, it calls for a response of belief. That God will not force us but he invites us to believe for the whole reason that we may not perish, being separated from God forever, but may have eternal life. One of the things that I learned just today, just standing here, was that Pierre was adopted. And it says within scripture that we become children of God through the blood of Jesus by adoption. That our Lord and Savior died for us so that we could be adopted into his family. And our part is to say yes. In Romans chapter 5, verse 6, it says, While we were still weak, at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Indeed, rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though perhaps a good person, someone might actually dare to die. But God proves his love for us that while we were still were sinners, Christ died for us. When we place our trust 
believe this. We can come to a day like this and know that we have hope because of the resurrection of Jesus. In Pierre's story, his president of the Catholic parish, he's involved in building projects. He was someone who loved his community, wherever his community was at. But he, like all of us, needs a savior. And that's what Jesus came to do for us. And that is good news. Each one of us needs a Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord bless him and keep him. The Lord make his face shine upon him and give him peace. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, we place into God's loving hand Pierre Richard. The Lord Jesus carry him and be a good shepherd to him. Now and forever. Amen. God be with you till we meet again. By his counsels, guide uphold you. With his grace supporting you. God be with you till we meet again. In Jesus' name, amen. At this time, you are free to mingle and to talk and to share stories about Pierre. And if you're a special person, you can say Pierre, but you know who you are.